All right, welcome to our next, what is it, 2024-25? 2024-25 block of the month. So if you have been EPPing with us through Queen of Diamonds, we are introducing the block of the month that will come after that called Big Woods. So I asked if I could introduce Sarah because I can say all the things about her that she will never say. So Sarah, you might want to turn around, you're going to get red. So first of all, Sarah and I have been incredibly dear friends for over a decade. Um, we know each other very, very well. We have been dying to work together for years and years and years. Um, and we finally got this opportunity. So Sarah is an award-winning applique artist a multi-generational award-winning applique artist. Her mother was also an award-winning applique artist. She did other things too, but, right? Yeah, quilter, we'll just say quilter. Um, so multi-generational, a legacy of award-winning quilters um, is this Sarah Filkey. She's also an internationally renowned teacher, one of the best teachers that I've ever had the pleasure to work with. Um, she is an incredible, Quilt maker, fabric designer, thread designer, um, quilt maker. I mean, she's really prolific. I learned how to applique. I don't like to say that because I don't feel like I'm good enough to say that you taught me. No, I'm, I'm pretty good, but I'm not great. Um, but so when we were trying to think of what the next block of the month would be, my first thought was this is my final, finally my opportunity to work with Sarah Filkey, who I admire and adore to the ends of the earth. Um, I really, really respect her talent. I respect her organization. I respect her teaching. And so to bring that to all of your customers seemed like just an opportunity not worth missing. Um, so this is, if you've been kind of working through these block of the months with us, um, basically the way it works is I have nothing to do with designing the quilt. Um, I am the fabric and the fabric alone, and I hand that fabric off to a really talented quilt designer, and they do what they do with it. And I've been really trying to make each block of the month have sort of a different technique that we focus on so that we can teach different things to our customers and our quilters and the people who use my fabric and really build up their skills and give them the most tools in their toolbox to make anything they want. So coming off of English paper piecing, I thought it would be a really nice sort of twist to go into applique. There is machine piecing and applique in this. I will let Sarah talk about that. But my dear, dear friend and wonderful, incredible quilt designer, Sarah Filkey. I feel like I just need to get on the plane and go home now. She just did it all. Um, <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah Filkey. Um, I'm from Sydney, Australia. If you don't know anything about me, I have spent the last 20 years working in the quilting industry. I owned a quilt shop for 11 years. So I not only design, but I'm very, very well aware of the need for this block of the month and every block of the month to not only move the kit but to move everything else that you have in your shop because I know what it's like to be a store owner <laughs> and I know what it's like to have all that stuff sitting on the, sh on the shelf and for all the pretty new things to be coming and what do you do with the stuff that's there. So this I've kind of designed so that we can help you do a bunch of that all in one go. Big Woods is something that Chula and I have been talking about for a long time, not this specific quilt but doing something together. And I use Chula's fabric a lot anyway. So for me, it's such a fun thing to be able to be working with my bestie um, and also some of my favorite fabrics. So that's just worked really well because an avalanche of free spirit boxes have been turning up at my house for the last year, which has been really fun. <laughs> and my, my studio is full of Chula pink fabric now. It is full of Chula pink fabric. Uh, so, Big Woods uh, was designed very specifically to be able to work for both beginner applique artists and experience applique people because a lot of my block of the month girls, I've been running my block of the month now for eight years, um, I usually get sort of about 2,000 people into the block of the month and so it's quite big 
and the people are very enthusiastic and they're very excitable applique artists. They love to applique, they love to do hand needle turn and that is what I will be teaching. But I'm also very aware that a lot of the customers who will be exposed to this block of the month are not necessarily people who applique and so this quilt is designed to help them along. So we have the pieced backgrounds that's just a large square um, with some fabric around the outside, very simple to put together. And each time that they get a new block, they'll be working on these pieces here, like this, or these corner pieces. The bear's paw pieces are pieced in on the edges, and then these pieces are pieced into the, um, into the centre here. So that part makes it really easy for them to put the backgrounds together, and it gives a bit more interest than just having a flat piece of fabric, which is what you often get in an applique quilt. The animals themselves are fairly big, as you can see, and so all of those little jaggedy edges and things, whilst it's not the easiest applique that you'll ever see in your life because that's boring, um, it is relatively simple applique in terms of how complicated these animals are. But if you have your customers who are really excitable and want to do something a whole lot more, as we go through, there's going to be extra pieces that come each month so that they can add little things into each block to make it more. So it's actually customizable, the quilt. So this is the basic design. And then each month there might be some acorns for the squirrel. There might be some other little insects that are coming along. And there will be little bonus things that sort of make it more exciting for them as they go. Um, the way that this block of the month works, my block of the months usually don't have any fabric, so they're just entirely PDF and they're online. I have a website that is dedicated to my block of the month programs. They get a piece of the pattern each month and a full video tutorial that teaches them everything that they need to know in order to make that block. So we'll be not starting you know, at the top of the quilt and working down, we'll actually be starting on the easiest applique block and working through to the more difficult ones so that they build their skill as they go across the 12 months, which I feel is really important because if you start off on something you can't do the first block, then you give up and you don't ever come back to it. So it's a way to move people through. The really fun thing about the tutorials this time is that Chula is going to come stay with me in Australia in March, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to work for a couple of days and then we're going to sit on my balcony and drink wine and so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so she's coming to Australia and we're actually going to film the video tutorials together. So normally it's obviously just me. This year, your students will all have access to me and Chula each month in their little computers and yeah, I'll be teaching and she'll be heckling me from the sidelines, <laughs> which is generally how this works. <laughs> um, we have a lot of support stuff ready to go for this block of the month. Free Spirit has um, done some great posters for you to put up in your store, which um, are all on the Free Spirit website. And there's flyers and all of that sort of stuff. And as well as that, um, I've just, I've, well, my husband, I shouldn't say I, I don't have anything to do with the computery part, that's not me. My husband has built a special section of the website, so when you sign up to do the block of the month through your store, um, you'll get a code to the website, and in there is a whole bunch of stuff to support the store, to help you, um, understand how you can market it, to help your students understand how they access everything. Uh, there's special extra posters, there's a cute little video coming that has the little animals all coming into the forest that my son is animating as we speak. Well, that's not right now, he's four o'clock in the morning in Australia, <laughs> he'll be asleep. <laughs> but that will be on there for you to download. There's social media stuff for you to put up, there's all kinds of things. Um, and Chula and I are also gonna do a couple of little videos and things that you can post. We really, really want to be able to support you through doing this block of the month program because I know that for a lot of stores, applique is something different. So this is gonna hopefully help you all through getting your students involved with applique. One of the other things to, that's really important that you know about this quilt is that it doesn't have to be done by hand. 
So all of, yeah, <gasps> come the excitable gas from the corner, because not everyone wants to hand sew, right? Lots of people do, but not everyone does. So all of my Block of the Month programs are designed the same way. All of the templates are suitable for hand needle turn applique and for fusible applique. So if you have students that want to fuse this, go right ahead, that's absolutely fine. I do not teach that because that is just not my thing. I don't fuse, I sit quietly and stitch. <laughs> well, I, they I try use to. Her new iron. Well, they could absolutely <laughs> use her new iron. They could use her new iron, yes. <laughs> I'll teach you that part. Yes. And um, because. <laughs> we need one of those for the videos. <laughs> we, need to, we need to get that sorted out. No, no heckle. <laughs> we like it when she heckles. <laughs> um, Yes, the other thing is that because it's Chula fabric, all of the um, all of Chula's Aurifil collections in the 50 weight, which is what you want to be doing your fusible applique with, will work with it. For the hand applique, we have an Aurifil collection, which is 80 weight. And 80 weight is what I like to use for needle turn applique. It is really, really fine and it just disappears. and. The whole thing behind teaching beginners to needle turn applique is that they need the right tools because it's almost impossible to make nice, neat, tiny little beautiful stitches that disappear if you don't have the right stuff. So I have Serifilky needles that are very fine and long and this is magic. So this is going to match perfectly to all of the um, colours that we've got in the Big Woods quilt. And it's got pretty bears and things on, which is you know, the best thing about it, right? Uh, the other thing I've done to support is we've got some tools and stuff and all of this is going to be available wholesale through the website, the same place that you'll go with your code. You'll be able to wholesale it um, directly through Meeks at the Aurifil, of course. That's your usual Aurifil dealer. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I'm doing will actually ship domestically in the US for you. So I've sorted it out so that you can order through me and then it will ship domestically instead of coming all the way from Australia because we know that's a really, really long way and it's really, really expensive. There's a um, template set that goes with the quilt and we've done it in a limited edition chill pink hot pink, which I don't normally do hot pink, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get rainbow, but <laughs> I put it on the fabric and it didn't work and I was like, curses, it was like the best acrylic. Um, so in order to make this quilt, we have two different um, template sets. One of them is that half square triangle and they come packaged in this cute little wolfy situation. And that is a half square triangle ruler that will cut all of the triangles in here for the bear's paws for them. And the fun thing about it is that they can then use it for any half square project after it. So it goes up to six and a half inches. I like things to be useful. So that can keep going. And then the other set, which is packaged the same way, it just says something different, um, is for the roof on the house. And normally when I do a block of the month, uh, I have a lot of circles and all that kind of stuff that we applique and the templates are all for that in the template set. This time around, I really didn't want that to happen because I didn't want so many circles and so many tiny little applique pieces that everybody got you know, confused and upset and didn't want to do it. So literally, the template set just has the roof templates for the house. So you don't absolutely have to have it. It's not, it's, the templates all come printed out anyway. It's more just, a, if you know that you have students who just love having all the bits and pieces and really want everything to kind of go and work together and what have you, that is what that template set does. It literally does this, this, and the half squares, makes, uh, the half, they're not half squares, half triangles. It makes them easier to piece. So if you have people that like all the bits and pieces, that's what there is for that. We also have a big wood sandpaper board. I've tried to do all of the, uh, all of the theme merch for this bomb because, you know, <laughs> you can't just be, you can't just be doing it by halves around here when, you know, Miss Extreme over there is happening. Um, so this is a sandpaper board. It's very useful for cutting out 
uh, the pieces you trace around on the sandpaper board. I use a silver gel pen, which is also going to be available from me because it's not something that you'd normally use for, qu for um, quilting and they're not easy to find, so I'm going to wholesale those. I've got silver gel pens being delivered in <laughs> cartons to my house. <laughs> Uh, so you tr I trace around the fabric onto the front using a gel pen and I use the sandpaper board so the fabric doesn't slip. So that is the sandpaper board um, with the little wolf logo on the top of it, which is fun. And I also have some very, very cute little timber needle minders with big woods on, so, which is really, really cute. I think they're really sweet. So those are all going to be available wholesale through my website and that's on that um, retailer's portal that will be set up there for you. Um, so we, yeah, we were talking about, I got distracted with all the pretty things. Um, we were talking about how this is going to help you move other things that are in your shop. So essentially the kit, which is coming just in one shipment, it's not going to be sent over a bunch, which we decided that was going to be a lot easier because of how the backgrounds are put together. Otherwise we were kind of sending you gobs of background fabric in different shipments and everyone's bound to cut the wrong thing and then you've got upset customers and that's never good. So it's all coming in one shipment. Uh, the kit will contain everything that's in that quilt. All of the little bits and pieces that can be customised and added in are obviously going to require more fabric and it's tulip pink fabric and you all have shopfuls of tulip pink fabric and it's all going to go with this. So. It's a really good way, as the quilt moves along, to be able to keep shifting your fat quarters and your little bits of tulip pink as you go through to get them to um, customise their quilts and build it up a bit more. The other thing that I'm going to do as we go along is we have some little secret projects that are going to get delivered here and there. I'm not going to say when, just in case I, you know, don't do one one month and then you're all demanding to know where it is. Um, <laughs> So they will come through the program. Um, there is, for example, a little messenger bag with the bear on it, and there's you know, a couple of other little bits and pieces that are just freebies that, that are patterns that come along with the block of the month, that just to make it fun. And those obviously will need more tulip pink fabric, and um, you know will need coordinating threads and all of those other things that you need when you're adding on to things. And the other thing uh, that will be really good to put with all of those little extra fabrics is the Chula Pink uh, machine embroidery uh, computerised doodads. I don't do all that, so give me the correct terminology. Um, <laughs> I don't do machiney things. Uh, they will all be fantastic to use with all these little projects that go with because it's all, they're all about embellishment and adding things on and all of that kind of stuff. So the kit, which I did have, where did it go? No, I don't think we do. Anyway, um, the fabrics that are used in it, all of the central background parts are unicorn, unicorn poop. And then that's the little, um, <laughs> which I keep going to call unicorn farts, and I know it's not that. <laughs> I just love how many people I've made say poop over the <laughs> Yes, these are unicorn poop. Uh, and then around the outside, it's a tiny dots. It's, it's that uh, neon pink in the tiny dots. And then we have the uh, large pom dot in the neon across here. And I really love, I'm so glad that I used that. I was worried it was going to be too much for everything else. But by the time you covered it all up with the leaves, I just love that it kind of peeks through and it gives you that little scary bit of woo in the middle of there of all of those bits. Um, Everything else pretty much, there's a little bit of besties in there, but pretty much everything else is all the basics and the tiny prints. True colours. True colours, thank you. So I'm relatively conversant, you not completely. Design, so you well, don't have to remember it. That is that is true. Uh, there are a little a few little bits of besties in there that I snuck because I had it really early, but this has been made for a while so I couldn't get any raw into it. <laughs> um, and we've got the neon stripe. That's one of the neons. And then on the back, we've used the big fairy dust. So the backing I mean, is... any of the wide backs. Any of the wide backs, yeah, yeah would work. Um, I particularly love the, the yeah. fairy dust one just because of 
all the colours in the quilt, I felt like it just went beautifully. And it shows up the quilting so beautifully. These wide, these wide backs just make the texture amazing. I should, the quilter is um, a girl called Kat Jones, who's an Australian quilter, and she has won a bunch of uh, quilts, a uh, bunch of prizes at Houston, and I think she's got one hanging downstairs. So if you see it, that's who did that. She's my friend. Um, yes. So how are we going for time, too? We have nine minutes. One of the things, can I talk? <laughs> I feel like you've been quiet for a long time. <laughs> One of the things I really love about the way this block of the month is set up is essentially you as a shop owner, you sell your customer the kit and then Sarah does the rest. So it's a really easy in and out. You can easily set up, if you have a brick and mortar shop, super easy to set up sort of sewing dates once a month to sort of talk about like where you can show the video in the class and then talk about like the techniques and some maybe you can get some in-person help in order to bring those people into your shop. But essentially it's very turnkey because Sarah pretty much just runs block of the month constantly. This is like her main Thing that she does. That's how I learned to apply. She wouldn't teach me in private. I couldn't afford her. So I had to sign up for one of her block of the months. And that's how I learned. Um, and they're incredibly detailed, wonderful videos. Sarah's really active on the Facebook group and answering questions really quickly in a very timely manner. So essentially for you as the shop owner, you sell them the kit and then it's up to you how much you wanna do. You basically turn them over to Sarah and Sarah takes care of the rest. I'm useless, but I'll be there. Um, but I'm just decoration. <laughs> but it's a really turnkey block of the month for you as a shop owner. And with Sarah's 11 years running a very successful shop in Sydney, she understands the needs of you as a shop owner and is very sort of conscious, very quick to react to questions, comments, concerns, um, super dedicated to that informative side of this, not just the design side of it, which is why I was really, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I was really excited to work with her on this. Um, yeah, sorry. That's what I forgot to say. I've got to take it because otherwise she'll just be off again. That's what I forgot to tell you. <laughs> So the other way that I'm going to offer support for you guys is I'm very, very active in any program that I do and um, particularly I want to make sure I'm really active with this because it's, you know, normally it's just my, it's all coming through my own portal and I've got control of it. This time it's, it's out there in the world so I really want to make sure that I've got my hands on and everybody can, you know, know that I'm there supporting you. Um, so when you log into that little portal that I was talking about. Um, there'll be all sorts of information about um, booking me for Zoom classes and stuff like that. I don't normally teach very much online, really, um, but I'm going to make myself quite available for you to do Facebook Lives, um, to do a, a little you know, show and tell thing about the block of the month to get your customers excited, if you like. I'm happy to teach on Zoom for you. I want to be in your store helping you to get this going. So drop me a line and, you know, if you've got an idea, I'm there. Um, yeah, and Chula and I are going to be doing, you know, some little face uh, social media things and stuff to help you along. Yes. Yes, that's a really good question. That's an important question, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it starts on the 1st of August. So uh, the first drop pattern will drop on the 1st of August. The cutoff for the kit ordering, where's Nancy? She's gone. January 15th is the cutoff for the kit ordering. Uh, and the subscriptions for the customers to buy the pattern, so they need to buy the kit from you and then they come to me and they subscribe to the pattern and that's how they get all of their pattern information and their videos and everything, it all comes through my website. So you don't have to handle any part of that. You don't have to print anything out. You don't have to send them links, nothing. It all comes through me. And that opens on the 15th of April. So once you sign on, you get all the information, all that stuff is there in documents for you to download and, and you know, have on hand. Um, but yeah, that's kind of your, your um, ordering window and the starting of everything. Yes? How long is the last month? It's 12 months. Yeah, there's way too much work in that to be doing it in six. 
<laughs> yes. Contact me and we'll sort something out. I mean, it, it, it's a difficult thing because um, then they miss out on the videos and stuff as well. Um, but I'm sure we can, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. Anyone else got any questions? Do we know price point? I don't deal with price money. point, Nancy? <laughs> the, the actual block of the month, like the subscription part, that's $80 US for the 12 months, which I feel is pretty reasonable given that, you know, you're paying for, you're getting this, <laughs> this and this. Uh, the kit, I have no idea, Nancy, do you know how much the kit is? One forty-five. No, 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 for the kit. Yep. Not a month for the for the whole kit. Yeah. So, yeah, there's sixty-four fabrics in this kit. It's one forty-five in the U.S. and what's the Canadian price? One one ninety-four and thirty cents. The block of the month subscription fee is eighty dollars, okay. just for the, for the yeah for the whole thing yeah. So it's really it's whatever that works out to a month. It's not very much. No, eighty dollars for the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they come to me. They can either subscribe by the month, or they can pay it upfront. So what I usually do is I leave it open for monthly payments for a couple of months, and then I cut it off. Um, but they can sign up any time through the year for $80. Yep. Any other questions? Yes. All right, we have giveaways.